mean, I, I, I know I'm not good at this game, but I mean, shit. back up. to heal. At least that's one down. <laughs> it looked like she kicked me. Two. Damn it. He stays like dazed for like all of two seconds. Like not even two seconds. I think. I'd like to believe it's malfunctioning there, but it's not. It just sucks, man. And now I don't have enough time to actually beat him. going on, man? Time I start trying to counter some of these moves. Pull yourself up. Come on, do it again, do it again. Got him! He's down! I finally got him! I have no idea how many turns that took, 
but it was way too many. I can't see the trophy because it's emulated, but whatever. God, way to blow it out there, Tiki. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Now you know that I do not approve of that kind of language. Vulgarities are ignorant and disrespectful. <laughs> That's okay, Tiki. Just, just don't let it happen again. You little <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. Uh, face breaker. <laughs> what a chaotic game. And as I've come to understand from a while back after I stopped playing, I, I wanted to look and see what other people were saying about this game. And they said that the difficulty jump... Even in just the easy mode, is like notorious for being drastic. This is a very hard game, even on the easy mode. So this is only the second time I've ever beaten that uh, gigantic robot uh, body. Like wow. I mean, I like the characters and everything, and I like this, you know extreme cartoony boxing uh, style game it's very different than like it, it I don't know like the whole uh, counter system of like holding down whatever button that you're going for you know you get your high blows and your low blows and the countering there is just holding on to the punch uh, to the whatever high or low you want to do, but you got to hope your opponent is coming at you. If you're holding down high, you got to hope that they come, uh, they swing at you with a high. But that's also how you uh, charge up your attack. So, I'm pretty sure that last battle, you cannot, like, actually hit a face breaker combo. Not, I, don't, I don't think, I don't think you can do that. Because it seemed like every time I got to the three, got three meters in my bar, before it let me have that last fourth one, uh, they would perfect counter me. Yeah, maybe tweak the difficulty a little bit. And this wouldn't be too bad of a game. Maybe also, since this, this game has all licensed music, uh, which there's some good music in this game, I'll say that. But in the streaming era and in the YouTube era where everybody's trying to find a way to monetize their gaming experiences and share games with everybody, you know, maybe if you come back and do a face break or two, you should, uh, you know, hire some original songwriters to do this for you. But just, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like that's one of those things where if you're writing video game music, then... Like, one of the weird things was I was streaming on Twitch and my, you know, taking a break screen that I put up, I ran the Nintendo 3DS internet settings um, theme as my, it's just a little thing of music to play while I was on a break. And it got muted. Twitch muted it because it's copyrighted music. I'm like, it's the Nintendo 3DS internet settings music. Why is Nintendo worried about that? Of any music you could use for just a random background thing while you're streaming, which one, I don't understand why, like, Nintendo or, or any gaming company, like, the, the game companies are all... Nintendo's weird. We, we already know how Nintendo is about emulation and stuff like that, so they... They have this weird, just like iron uh, grip on their stuff. So even the internet, even the DS internet settings music that plays while you're fiddling around with trying to get your little handheld connected to the internet, they don't want people to hear that. I don't know if people are gonna be streaming your game with your music on it, and you're okay with that to whatever extent. I don't know. I don't think you should be so, you know. I don't think you need to go all authoritarian on people with their with your music. I mean, Nintendo doesn't even offer a means to, to buy their music. 
So, I mean, wh where else are people going to get to uh, to do that other than listening to it in the game? But then at that point, they've already bought your game. I don't know. I'm I'm. This has turned into a rant instead of more of talking about what's so great about this game and what's not. I just think you know maybe expand the roster a little bit, come up with some more crazier characters. Like, like a lot of the characters kind of just like there's the big dumb guy, there's the the Russian guy who's who's little, his name is Molotov. Uh, you got the Romeo guy. He's a little like oh, I am the, the uh, I am the, the the sexy one or whatever. You got the hip hop guy. You've got the crazy guy with the sock puppets. You got the nerd who's got the karate gear on. I mean, he, his his dojo, his ring to fight him is in an arcade. So I mean, you could come up with some more characters. I mean, just right off the bat, sitting there, I'm uh, thinking uh, Kiriko. Uh, she's what uh, like the, the Harajuku girl, I think, kind of kind of thing going. Do like a magical girl type character that's way real girly and everything and she does all the, the anime poses and everything. I mean, almost every fighting game these days has some kind of anime style character. But anyway, if you're willing to suffer the difficulty spike of this game... I'd say give it a try if you like if you like the challenge. I mean, it's definitely if you didn't see there, uh, it it can get very aggravating towards the end. And like I said, I had started on uh, medium difficulty. My original run of this game, when I was playing the actual Wii version of the game, I was playing it on my Wii U, and. The controls are motion controlled in that game, and I'm like, oh, this sucks, this blows. And they they add the little health mini game in between rounds and took out the the sexy ring girl. It's just a lesser version. I mean, it, the controls killed it for me, especially when we started getting into the, like the midder, the uh, the midder, the the mid level difficulty of the medium difficulty mode, <laughs> halfway through. Uh-uh. I had to swap down to easy mode. Like, and I think what happened was I started off there. I, when I started the run with the emulation, I was still on medium. But I hit a point where I just was convinced I could not go any further. And so, after that, I just moved on to, uh, I bumped it down to easy and went through, so... Which, again, like I said, easy mode is still very difficult. So, uh, any of you out there who have played this game on its hardest mode, how? Like, that's impressive, and I respect you for it, but how and why would you torment yourself with such a challenge that's unnecessary? You don't have to do it. Anyway, I'm glad that we're getting a list of all the songs that were added to this game. Seems like they went with and tried to find a song. Okay, now they got uh, Goody Coast theme playing Girl Fight. But yeah. I like that song 2 is 1. I actually looked that up online after I had played it before. Kind of fitting that they, uh, right here before the end of the credits, I assume this is getting towards the end, they decided to play Kiriko's theme. But, um... Yeah, see, it's once again, like, one of those weird things. It's like, they, they clearly wanted to try to get songs that match the characters' personalities. Like a good wrestler theme song. But, um... It's just... Uh, in the in the modern era of gaming and streaming games, it's a nightmare. Although I don't know, maybe you could stream this. I don't I don't know how much people because the games the music really doesn't play that long. But there's no like sound effects. No, there's not much sound effects talking over it. I mean, 
if maybe the song's only played during the character intros, because it's only for like a few seconds, you might could get away with it. But some of these uh, record companies, they just, they're not going to let you have it. I mean, if you just never know. I'm trying to talk over this song so they don't demonetize me here. I think every single one of my Facebreaker videos has been demon like been copyright tagged. Like, you can't monetize this. I'm like, well, I don't have that option yet anyway, so who cares? I'm actually curious to see how long I've been playing. That took me an hour from when I sat down to start playing this again. I I just hit the hour mark. And that's not counting the time, the last time I played the game, either. <laughs> yeah, anyway. The Hives! I remember the Hives. What was, their, what was that song they played? Was it... No? Mm. Hold on, I gotta look that up now. Because I'm, 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 there was two bands that came out around the same time. Or not maybe they came out, but I discovered around the same time. It's called The, the Hives and The Vine. And I think I'm mixing them up. I think the vine... The vines, maybe? Yeah, that's it. The vines, their song Get Free was, was pretty popular for a little bit. The hives were... Uh, from what I remember of them, I saw a video of, the, of those guys. And they were all like in suits. I think it was like a black and white style, like, music video or something. But it wasn't black and white like I'm looking at it now. It's, they were, they were in suits. I mean, and there's a, there's a little bit of, there's, they're stand, they're in a, like a black suit with a white tie. Standing behind a, uh, white screen. So... Not any sort of extravagant, you know, visual there. But anyway, looks like this is the end of the credits. So, appreciate you watching me uh, play this game and sticking with it for all the losses. I mean, maybe at least my defeat was funny. Now look at this. You've completed the brawl for it all. Try fighting again through different with different characters on different difficulties. Love the Facebreaker team. How about no? Put in the Dr. Evil uh, response there. How about no? What's he saying? How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? It's like, yeah, no. We're not doing that. But anyway, appreciate you guys for watching if you watched. Hope you'll come back. We'll play some more games. We ain't playing no more of this, though. At least we're not going up on the higher difficulty. Maybe I'll come back and play with a different character. But that's it for now. Until I decide to come back, we'll see you later.